yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and let us create a date extension over here so let's go to the extension and let's just create a new file and i'll just call this one as the uh, date formatter f-o-r-m-a-t-t-e-r dot t dot file and let's go and create the uh, extension over here and that will be of the uh, date f-o-r-m formatter and on the date and time so d a t e sorry d a t date time and this will return us the uh, string right so let's return here the string and that will be for date f o r m a formatter and that date formatter will take the uh, type of the uh, date and time over here so let's say a uh, date and time over here and let us uh, return from here the uh, date sorry the a the date time so we have a date not the date time date format over here so it should be of a date f o r m a t date format and that should be i need to import this one let's import this one from the intel package so i guess i can't find that so let's import it manually import the uh i need to import the intl i n sorry let's find that one intl intel package so let's say uh, intel dot t dot file and over here i can just pass in the string of the type and over here uh, that will be of the dot the uh, format over here so i guess it's not the spelling is not correct over here so d a t e date f o r m m a t date format so uh i guess that's correct one so now we can have the uh let's do some date format i need a uh, date and the uh month and then the uh year year and uh, i also need the uh, timing so uh let's add an hour and then we will have the uh minute and then the second and uh, let's add in the am or pm over here and the time format that you can uh, request is from the uh, en underscore uh, us and i can just format this one so a uh, format to and i can pass in the date and time over here so that should return as the um the formatted date and time to the string format over here so uh that's all for this lesson and i will meet up in the uh, next lecture uh, till then have a great day